Welcome. Welcome to the newest chapter of... <laughs> of just this, chapter? Of this book oh, thing. Why would I get this <laughs> chat talk? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I would give it four dead heads, so for a total of nine dead heads. You did that wrong. <laughs> um, I went first. <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed it, and it was my first fantasy Brandon Sanderson part of his universe. Yes. That David can speak a little bit more about than I can. Yes, so he has uh, a giant shared universe with most of his uh, stuff that he's written so far, and uh, Miss, the Mistborn series is part of it, and there's a, some characters that uh, make the jump between some of his universes, or worlds, not universes. It's all and uh, he's in the middle of writing his one that supposedly ties it all together, so. Ooh, that sounds funny. <clears throat> I like that things tie together. He's on book four of ten, <laughs> so. Uh, Slow your roll. <laughs> it'll take me that long to get through all his books, so it'll be fine. Um, so, um, I would say this if you like this one i would recommend probably um i mean anything that has like some world building with this one had a quite a bit of action mm -hmm. i would say i was talking to a customer at the bookstore who was quite the avid reader and she was talking about how this one is kind of more action adventure the next one's kind of more political and the other mm -hmm. one is more um faith driven or spiritual for yeah. the one of the characters but that's all she would say she was like i'm not gonna spoil things for you and i was like thank you <laughs> um and so but i do i very much it makes sense and i want to read it and um yes. I yeah was, i need to get on that i it, i did read all three just in a row which is going to make this a little bit more mm -hmm. difficult to remember where the first one stops but i brushed up on it earlier today, so hopefully I can muddle through without any spoilers for book two. What would you say would be a good book to read if you like this? Or if you've read that book, you might like this? Um, I don't know. So, it's part heist novel, part uh, revolution. Actually, one of the characters, uh, I was reading his annotations on his website, for this book today. And uh, he said that one of the characters is pulled almost directly from uh, Les Mis, which is apparently one of his favorite classics. I'm Expected. not necessarily going to recommend that one because I haven't read it, so I don't know how relevant it is. But uh, uh, it, I probably um, won't be reading it unless everyone who watches these is all like, review it! And then I'll make sure that I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. I didn't say hey, We have 29 you. comments. <laughs> <laughs> just came in. in. Um, but um, I would say real quick before we move on to our more um, for the Patreon section, I would say basic summary is like I said, it's part revolution, heist, magic is evolved. It's kind of like an uprising is happening. And our main character is kind of like not at all part of the bigger picture, I guess, is the best way to put it. She's just kind of a low-level uh, thief. Mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of gets involved because of things that I can't tell you. Um, but I do, I like the character. Um, she's not too whiny. She mm -hmm. adapts. She, I think she's well-rounded and very human. I like that about her. She has her flaws, yes. but like, she she works well like she doesn't let her flaws define her like some of the other characters yeah. it's like the things they hate it's like i don't want to see anything good about this like i don't like the royals the royals all should just stop no and she's like but they're not all bad and they're like no 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 <laughs> all no. Of, 
And so, like, she's, uh, since she's so new to this world, I think it's really interesting to see her point of view compared to, like, these, like, hardened criminals, kind of, except... Yeah. As the, even though they're not, cr they're criminals, but, like, I won't say they're, like, hardened, but they are very set in their beliefs about it's, how they feel about those. It's very Ocean's Eleven sort of a feel. Yeah. Um, I, he said that was another one of his big hmm. um, influences for this one. So if Les Mis and Ocean's Eleven had a baby? Wow. Yes. With definitely. Magic. <laughs> With magic? Three different uh, magic systems, actually. It was, it was very interesting. Um, I will say real quick before we get into, like I said, the Patreon thing, um, we are going to be starting up another thing called the Great Book Debate, and yes. that is why I was not able to read the other two books in the series. So our first thing we're going to be reading is Frankenstein versus Dracula. That was the first thing that was recommended whenever we put out the post. Yes. Um, I will be taking the stance of pro-Dracula. I will be pro-Frankenstein. Ah, crap, I didn't even... <laughs> Vampires. Vampires. Of course she's pro Dracula. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> They're her family. <laughs> uh, I mean, my like, great grandma. Think of that. Can I change my skin? I mean, <laughs> nope. Do it now. It's the book has been in my uh, family. Uh, I mean, in the world. Uh, like, I like that, that you're the first person to catch. <laughs> Baby didn't even catch that earlier. Uh, he was just like, I've got Frankenstein then. Oh because I think God. he likes it more already. But whatever. Okay. That's hilarious. Uh,